is a cold gray day here in Kentucky, actually snowing a little bit in the final days of 2023. And as this year comes to a close, I wanted to take a moment and reflect a little bit about this past year and all of the projects that we, we did, even though I set out to accomplish a whole lot, definitely didn't get everything done, but it's good to take a step back and just reflect on everything that we're able to accomplish in a year. Usually it's much more than, than you remember if you actually take that time to reflect. And the self-reflection is an exercise that I have been doing for a few years now and sometimes made a little bit easier given all the photography and videography that I do in capturing those memories. So with my computer, the hard drives connected, and some notes that I have in front of me, let's look back at 2023. And the year started with a whole lot of removing from the property. A diaper. Ugh. Bread, bread Sarah bag. Lee? Sarah Lee, the Hun good stuff. Honey wheat. First, trash. A whole lot of trash. I think we have filled up three dumpsters so far and actually have plans to get a fourth dumpster at the beginning of next year. The previous owners didn't have the same regard to the property that we do. What you thinking of all our garbage? It, it sucks to clean up someone else's mess. Yeah. So we definitely had to do a lot of work of pulling out trash, uh, tires, so many tires that we, we hauled away eventually this year. But that was the start of just pulling just out all of that trash. And then in addition to the trash, cutting away all of the invasive species, which we still have a lot more to do and clearing out some trees that had been allowed to grow up that while some of them were native that I did cut down, uh, they weren't in a good spot. This was the first year that I really used a chainsaw to cut down trees. And albeit the trees that I was cutting down and I have been cutting down, haven't been that big. Um, I've cut down a few, you know, that were this size, but by no means large trees. For those, we called in some professionals to help us take down some trees in the late winter, early spring that we thought were gonna be problematic. And as I'll talk about a storm that we had later in the year, very, very thankful that we had those trees come down um, on our terms rather than nature's terms because it probably would have been a lot worse and caused a whole lot of damage to our property. So very, very uh, happy that we spent the money up front to have those taken down. So something that actually happened the last day of 2022 that needs to be mentioned is our adoption of our dog, Greta, who has made 2023 uh, a lot more enjoyable, goofier. She is a lovely dog. Uh, we don't know what breed she is. We've had several people give us different suggestions of what breed she is. So if you've got an idea of what breed you think uh, Greta is, uh, she was labeled as an Australian Shepherd, which I don't think is true. Maybe some sort of collie. Recently someone told us um, some dog from the Swiss Alps, uh, maybe. But uh, I say that she is 90% uh, good dog and 10% silly goose. Uh, so that is Greta, who has been an absolute delight. And Greta actually helped us find one of the biggest problems and debacles of 2023. Uh, she dug a small hole and um, she hasn't dug many holes at all for the, the past year. So it was just um, so odd that she dug right next to the septic tank. We saw the water was way higher than it should have been, opened the tank up and yeah, turns out the, the whole system was failing. Uh, we had to dig up our whole backyard. Then it turns out we couldn't put in a traditional system and had to put in what is essentially a mini wastewater treatment plant. And I should probably make a video uh, about this because it's a really cool system where it's got um, aeration, filtration, and then UV, and then water just comes out of pipe, which then drains down the hillside and makes its way 
into our pond and total, totally fine. Uh, so the really, really cool system. Uh, wasn't cheap, I can tell you that, um, but it does open up the backyard more for planting. It had to change the whole garden space around, which definitely delayed things. I started off the year buying all my seeds, getting ready, planning out where everything was going to go, and all that had to go on hold while we figured out the septic tank and made sure that everything was in place first. So got a late start to putting in the garden um, and the fencing and all of the raised beds and actually had to toss some plants that were getting uh, too big because I just couldn't get everything in in time and had to start some seeds over. So that was kind of rough, uh, but definitely learned some lessons there and excited for this upcoming year when I should be able to get everything uh, in the ground much sooner because the, the bed's already built and established. Of course, uh, I'm expanding the growing space by a lot, quadrupling the garden area. Oh, and my wife is calling me. Hello, you're on YouTube right now. I am? Yep. Oh, the mailman just stopped me. He was dropping off right as I was leaving, and he said they're getting new vans, and our mailbox, basically we need to replace it. 2024 project. Yep. All right. Okay, bye. Thanks, bye. So something else that didn't really make it on to the YouTube channel was our travel uh, this past year. First going to Disney with my wife's whole family and spending a week there. I uh, didn't make a video about that, but had a really enjoyable time there. And then going to Alaska for a week. It was actually my third time going to Alaska because my best friend lives there. And uh, this time it was for his wedding. Uh, so have yet to make a video really about uh, Alaska uh, and thought one was coming together, maybe talking about glaciers because we've done glacier hikes and cruises and kayaking. Uh, but that is a video, like several videos that I have started and, and never finished. How you doing, Michelle? <laughs> so we did some travel this past year, but I definitely wanted to make sure that we were home for july august september when was supposed to be the big time for harvest in our garden and we definitely did get a lot of produce from the garden so canning pickling uh, making salsa so that has been a new experience for me and putting that stuff up which has been really enjoyable as the weather has turned cold and making pasta sauces from tomatoes we've we grew um, having pesto that michelle did which has been uh, really, really uh, enjoyable uh, during the cold, cold winter months. But I have to say that the garden, I think it underperformed. Uh, I had some issues with my pH. The compost that I got definitely wasn't mature enough. Uh, so may look for an alternative source for compost uh, for this next year as I expand the garden. But I do think that the garden area that we already have established will continue to get better and better as I improve that soil. One experiment and a video that will be coming out very shortly is in it where I looked at how much we actually did produce. I weighed everything that came into our house and have also kept all the, the money that I spent uh, for the garden, for everything, for the seed starting, the seeds, the compost, the raised bed, the fence, every, everything that was purchased to make that garden a possibility. Um, I have um, kept receipts and have been calculating it all. So I'll be able to compare with how much money I spent on the garden versus how much um, value of produce was able to be made. So I'm excited to see those numbers because I haven't finished the calculation yet because I've got a few more days where I can pull stuff out of the garden because uh, the garden is still producing. Towards the end of summer, we were hit with a massive storm, which took down a ton of trees that we had to, to clean up. Again, hire people to, to help clean those up. And we still have trees that are on the ground that have yet to be cleaned up. But in the beginning of the next year, I have someone coming out with a portable sawmill and we'll be turning a lot of those trees into wood that I can use on future projects. But the biggest thing that we, we learned from the storm or that happened because of the storm uh, was our water line was broken. And in the process of having that fixed, we discovered that our water line is made of asbestos cement. 
and that required the whole system being replaced, the whole water line. We have a very, very, very long water line, so that was very expensive. But thankfully, our insurance uh, was uh, a delight to work with, actually. Um, you always hear horror stories, but our insurance was very good. Um, Westfield Insurance, shout out to them. <laughs> Not sponsored, but uh, they were really good uh, during all of that, so I really appreciate it. But it's been uh, just a lot of cleanup still from that storm that has continued into the, the fall and winter that I'm just picking up debris and trying to put our property back together again. Uh, so we'll be happy when um, all those trees are finally cleared up, probably just in time for another spring storm. Uh, that's what that's that's what comes when, with having a lot of property and a lot of trees. But I definitely do love um, the nature that we have. We took a trip for my birthday to go to Eastern Kentucky uh, to rent an Airbnb to do some hiking, which is something that we typically do always around my birthday. My birthday is in October. It's great hiking weather. And it was funny to go out to a place that almost feels a little bit like our house, that we are you know, creating um, what we like to do on vacation that is our day-to-day -day life, being surrounded by trees and nature and uh, just beauty, uh, which is very, very exciting to, to think about. And when my best friend actually visited and he was sitting in our house, he was looking around and said, you know, I, I mean this as a compliment, your house feels like an Airbnb. Like it, it's really nice, uh, which was just positive for me to hear because, you know, I just see everything that's wrong with the house uh, that I need to fix. Uh, so having someone else tell me uh, how nice our house is um, was, was really positive. And... Just back to that that trip, uh, you know, going to Eastern Kentucky and hiking. Um, definitely hope to explore more of Kentucky and the surrounding area uh, this upcoming year. With all of the projects and having a, a nine to five day job, um, which I'm remote at, but because of all of that, definitely haven't done enough to to get away from our house and really enjoy our community. So hoping that there will be a lot more of that in 2024. More, more hiking and getting out, and also just enjoying our property too, and not feeling that we always have to be doing projects, uh, cleaning up something, fixing something, paying for a contractor to fix something, that we can actually sit out and just watch the birds or grill out and eat and, and just enjoy being rather than doing so much. So hopefully there's uh, more of that uh, in the coming year. And with that, more videos. As I talked about on the Alaska trip, I have tons of footage there that has never been turned into a video. The whole septic tank thing was filmed, but never made that into a video. I've got a video about deer hunting that uh, I have written out, but haven't finished because I, I, I'm just too much in my own head uh, with that video. Um, because I started deer hunting again when I moved back to Kentucky. So I think that that is something interesting, at least for me, to explore um, my relationship with um, eating meat, because I was a vegetarian, um, with owning a firearm and hunting as someone who like, is a liberal progressive, and t you tend to like lump those people with not hunting and owning guns. Uh, so that's a video that I want to make, and just making more videos and, and having fun with it. So look forward to that into 2024. So I thank you for watching this video. Uh, if this is your first video, uh, hi, uh, my name is Tyler. I make videos about all sorts of stuff um, in my life, and my focus has been my property where I'm trying to make it um, more eco-friendly, sustainable, um, you know, natural, uh, plants and organic produce and all sorts of different plans that I have uh, for the upcoming year and years to come. But I appreciate you. I hope you had a great 2023 and I hope you have an even better 2024. Again, my name is Tyler Lloyd and I wish you the absolute best. See you later.